Uh, seek your permission, sir, to say the question has not been answered. It's absolutely been answered. NPA's gross and NPA's net are coming down. And if the... Let me finish. One second. Are coming down. And the numbers are before me. I'd like to read for those who think, no, no, we are hiding facts. No, I will read by year. The net NPA is coming down. An honorable member Jawahar Sirkar's question about you, would you want to compare it with the West? I just want to give one line, sir. If NPAs are coming down in India, and steadily at that, at every year's number shows, which I'll read it out, and would the honorable member please carefully notice that banking distress, whether in Germany or in the US, and the banks which are going bust in the US, if that has not been kept in the back of the mind of the member, and he still would raise, would you do international comparison? This is the comparison which speaks for itself. So if you want me to name by country and then by India's banks comparison, it's hair splitting. You are, as a senior member of the house, aware that even last year, major bank collapses happened both in the United States of America and in, the, uh, in Switzerland and in Germany. And here we are showing you figure year after year about NPA coming down. Doesn't that indicate the health of the banks in both these countries? Not only NPA is coming down, profit margins going up of the banks. So for the sake of the member who would want to persist on this question, I would seek his intelligence as much as yours, sir, in kindly listening to this number. Public sector banks, scheduled commercial banks, I would read both, first the scheduled commercial banks and the public sector banks subsequently. Net profit, net NPA ratio reduction. The high point was 2017-18, when scheduled commercial banks had a 5.94 percentage of NPAs. And public sector banks at 7.97. Next year, it comes down to 3.65. Public sector banks comes down to 4.80. And subsequently, 2.81, 3.76, 2.39, 3.11, 1.67 .1 to 2.19. And 22.23, sir, it's, coming, it's come down. The scheduled commercial banks' net NPA ratio as a percentage has come down to 0.95. And it has come down to 1.24 in public sector banks. Honorable Minister. I, uh, oh, sorry, sir. Oh, okay. sorry, sir. I'm, I, I, they're drawing me to the temptation. Honorable. Member Yagnik is a very senior member, a lawyer. She knows the uh, te uh, technical terms, from terminologies. His, from his right Stanford. off and wave off. Come on. I hope the member of this house are not going to be tired of us repeatedly saying what is a technical write-off, what is a way off, to go on asking this question. I, I'm not going to be tired to reply, but way off and write-off. Is on this wanting a one second. second reply? One second. We've repeatedly one second. said. One um, I, would, I would urge Johar Sarkar, a very experienced senior member, to word his question directly pinpoint it pa gross npa to total load is a percentage that is internationally accepted year by year comparisons are given out and it is 1 to 1.2 percent on an international average india has not come anywhere across it in the last eight years so, would the minister who has read so much, who has been kind enough to intervene, give us a year-by-year -year comparison of the IMF standard or the IMF accepted international standard of gross okay. NPA to total load. Okay, Mr. Sarkar, yeah, yeah, yeah. Please, sir. I would... Please. Uh, Honorable Minister, may... Honorable Minister, may... One second, please. Take Honorable Minister, may pardon my ignorance. Excuse Your me. minister used an expression Phone banking. What does that mean? Which one, sir? Phone banking. Phone banking. Thank you, sir. That would take me if back. If you go in a little term, it's okay. Sir, thank you for giving me this opportunity. Phone banking was that time when in Indian banking, 
people would call the banks and say, so and so would come to seek, you a, uh, seek a loan from your bank, please grant it. Meaning, don't have to look at his cred eligibility or his uh, credit ratio, you, you must, have, must have to give him. So, actually, sir, today when this debate is being uh, really hot enough to talk about gross NPA, IMF standard, measuring NPA versus the gro gross profit of the, or the total loans issued, and so on, the, the heart of the problem was when, during the 10 years of the rule, UPA's ruling, between 2004 and 14, phones were used to ask for delivery of loan to customers who were not worthy of being given a loan. The burden fell on us to sort the Indian banks out with reforms, identifying, first of all, the four R's that we talk about. Prime Minister Modi sat with all of us and sat with the entire, my predecessor spent a lot of time, Sri Jaitley, spent a lot of time understanding where the problem was and working together with the Reserve Bank of India. So the phone banking was the method through which the political interference spoiled all our banks and drove them to loss-making situation. Today, if enthusiasm is shown on asking questions about NPAs, it is, first of all, look at the problem which contributed to NPAs and made Indian banks actually having a twin balance sheet problem. And the twin balance sheet problem made the Indian economy come down to being a fragile economy. That fragile economy today is the fastest growing and a rate of 7.6 in the last quarter. So please, kindly do recognize these things before questions on NPAs are Siri, asked. Jai Ram Ramesh. The last supplementary. Sir, thank you for giving me the opportunity, Ask finally, pointedly. for asking a supplementary. Sir, yesterday, the Honorable Finance Minister answered a question in the Lok Sabha and said that there are 2,623 willful defaulters who owe the banks 1.96 lakh crores. Now, I would like to ask the Honorable Finance Minister, what extra and special steps are being taken to deal with willful defaulters because a willful defaulter by definition is a deliberate defaulter he is full of will to default in the first place so i would like to ask the honorable finance minister without getting into the history 2623 individuals own the banks 1.96 lakh crores would she consider naming and shaming them so that there is pressure on these Honorable Minister. Sir, action is being taken on willful defaulters. My answer in the Lok Sabha is actually indicative of banks taking steps towards getting the money back from these people. <coughs> action, again, I'll uh, just highlight uh, the cases because that will specifically answer a question raised by the Honorable Member. Uh, as of 31-3-2023, the legal suites for recovery were filed against 13,978 accounts. Action under Surfacey uh, have been initiated in 11,483 cases. FIRs have been filed in 5,674 cases. Aggregate amount of 33,801 crores have been recovered till 31 3, 2023. The amount recovered is 33,000. Sir, therefore, the actions and also there was a time, I think I've answered a parliament question about cases taken up by the ED. Now, why do I bring that here specifically? The money is recovered and the money is returned to the banks themselves, subject to correction, because I'm just saying it out of my memory, more than about 13,000 crores have been given to the banks from these defaulters on whom PMLA cases have resulted in action through the uh, enforcement directorate. So monies are being recovered through CBI cases, monies are being recovered through surfacy. So, um, Specific action through the various legal provisions are being taken and as a result, monies are going back to the banks. 
Now, as on 1st December 2023, just a couple of days ago, assets amounting to 15,186.64 crores have been confiscated by the ED. I want this specifically on the record. 15,186.64 uh, crores have been confiscated by the ED, out of which uh, uh, amounting to uh, 15,183.77 crores have been restituted to the public sector banks. That amount where I said subject to correction 13,000, I stand corrected. The amount is more than 13,000. It is 15,183.77 crores which have been restituted to the bank. So the bank, the phone banking, NPA, what goes to the bank? This is the kind of constant action being taken by the CBI, ED, and the income tax and others. That money, both from the willful defaulters and from others who owe the uh, Consolidated Fund of India, the money which has to go back through the banks or otherwise directly, are being put back. Um, so this 15,183.77 crores is under the PMLA. Furthermore, sir, PMC Bank has recovered. I'm sure many from Maharashtra will be interested in knowing about this. PMC Bank has recovered 104.02 crores with active cooperation and support of ED. Assets amounting 692.89 crores have been confiscated under the provision of the FEOA 2018. So monies are constantly being recovered, not small amounts, huge amounts, which are going back to the public sector banks.